Hello everyone. So today I have another throw it back video for you. And this is a family home that I built when the Growing Together pack came out. I was really excited about this pack and I did a few builds with it. This is one that I did that was not part of my own gameplay when the pack came out. And I don't know why I never got it put up, but here it is for you to enjoy. So what I wanted to do with this one was definitely embrace the more craftsman style um, of building that was part of the pack. And I think I pulled that off pretty well. My intent was to go into a lot more detail, maybe not with this build, but a build with this pack. But I think I ended up getting distracted when the horse ranch pack came out. And I just, I didn't do what I was planning. <laughs> so... So I only have a few builds with this pack. I am considering going back and doing a few more now that, you know, maybe I have a little bit more time and am able to do that. If that's something you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so with this build specifically, I really wanted to create a simple but upscale family home. My family that I pictured in this was probably an upper middle class. Maybe, maybe middle class. Maybe they, they got some help getting this house. But definitely a home that you could grow a small family in. And what it ended up being, really, I, I like this house. I have not played in it, mostly because I started playing in the Growing Together world, and then I kept moving my Sims out of it. Okay, I did this twice. I like tried with two different game files. I could not stay in this world. And I couldn't get it to the point where they uh, could afford this house. So, and I think part of it is, I love that this pack has family gameplay. But for me, part of, you know, the growing together and growing up always included like lots of snow around certain holidays. And it really doesn't snow here. So... I think that kept throwing me. So I kept moving my Sims out with the intent to move them back in. And honestly, I just stopped playing that save file and moved on to something else is what kind of happened. Um, also, when this pack came out, I decided to do my own like legacy uh, gameplay. And I moved on to that. And I kind of do you know, my own Sim self. So what I did was create myself as a baby and then, you know, grow myself up using the features of this pack. So I got involved in that. And again, because, you know, I wanted winter, I didn't stay in this world very long with my Sims. So eventually I will probably move a Sim I play into this house. Now, in my current for rent gameplay, my Sims parents live in this house. So it's kind of fitting because this is a, a family that I created that, you know, I grew up the kids, you know, or not grew them up, but went through the process of them growing up in gameplay. And they had two daughters. I moved them into this house, and they proceed to have another child. 
It's The Sims. That's what they do. So, yeah, it kind of fitting. They they moved into a family home, and now they have a family. So, it works. All right. So, I will say one thing with this pack that I wish they would have added a couple more things was curtains. We got one set. Well, okay, we got two sets. But the one set that goes on bigger windows, I love that it's separated. I do love the look of it. But you're kind of stuck with this one theme when you're trying to do this as a base game and, you know, growing together build. So, yeah. I do believe, I mean, it's been a while, but I do believe that is how I did this build was base game and growing together only. So, yeah. That's my little complaint. It's really not that dire. I can't even remember if I put curtains in here to begin with. I know when I went in to do pictures, there were no curtains, so I'm adding or I'm adding those to the build. And yeah, it yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what, what's up with the curtains lately. We, we need more of them, and we need more of the modular type. So at least they got that part kind of right. I wish they had put a hole in. And they might have. Maybe I just can't find it. So this area I decided was going to be the home office and you know, library study area. So decorating this up a little bit, getting some fun stuff in there. I really wanted this to look more of like a built-in thing. And I think I pulled it off. And again, I wanted to use the new bookshelves and all that. I really wish they would put something when they do like bookshelves like these that would go in between that's lower. I love doing this. I do this in so many builds where we have the bookshelves and then just like a console area. And I know you can do that with a few, but I'd like to see more. All right. I do want to say if you can hear some plasticky stiff rattling around in the background, I apologize. My cats have gotten a hold of the plastic and I'm not sure where they're at, but it's very noisy. So, hopefully that doesn't pick up on the recording. But we will see when this is done. I'm unfortunately doing this on my lunch hour, so I really don't have time to stop and, you know, re-record. So, yeah. But, you know, if you have cats or pets in general, you understand. Okay, so trying to figure out some things to put in this entry area. Yes, I use this table again. I actually really like this table and part of my problem is it just it's easy to throw in, put a few things on top and move away from because it's got something underneath it. So really easy to just kind of throw in as a decorative item. And I will say this entry area ended up a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, you can, if you would like, move the entry into the living room area forward and make it a little bit smaller. I didn't. I kind of like the look of it being set back and in between the, the bathroom, I guess you could say. So here I did want to create a nice kind of cozy living space. And though I feel like I accomplished that pretty well. There are a few areas I really just struggled trying to find stuff to put into. But again, in the end, it, it works out after a lot of trial and error. I did cut out a little bit of that. But you'll see the, the pretty finished product. Another bookshelf. Uh, I don't know. For me, you can never have too many bookshelves. I love reading. 
And so bookshelves are a must for me. Now, that being said, there are some builds that I do forget to put them in because I'm excited about something else. But in general, bookshelves are a must. So here I just wanted to put in like, you know, something just kind of decorative, some shelving, um, play around with what we have. Because like I said, being a base game and growing together pack build only kind of limited what I could do. So now I'm just kind of going in, putting in some more plants, filling in a few things, some clutter. I believe with this build, I may have tried to do most of the downstairs before moving upstairs when it came to clutter and, you know, all the little extras. I also struggled a little bit with this kitchen. I kept wanting to to do different things with it. I do end up like the column that's there. I end up removing that after the build's done. That is not there in the uploaded version. And then now I'm just kind of going through and figuring out what I want the outside to look like a little bit more. I kept changing my mind. I think I did this like three or four times and I'm showing you this one because, well, I picked one to show you. <laughs> so you're kind of still playing with things on the outside, getting all the columns in, the porch figured out, and trying to, I don't know, figure out what I wanted to do with this build, I guess. I do jump around with this one, and it's mostly because I just struggle to get my mind around it. And I do remember that much. Like, I really had issues trying to get my mind around this build. And I don't know why. I love the craftsman-style homes. Um, but I think it's we just didn't have as much craftsman decor as I would have liked. So, all right. So the other thing with these bedrooms, I did put in like closet areas. So if you do have access to closets, they're in there because again, it's a family home. They're going to have closets. So added those in and now just kind of figuring out window placement and the floor plan a little more. I did play around with this bathroom floor plan quite a bit for the master and yeah I took out quite a bit of that playing around because I want to say I came back to that thing like three times uh, and the reason I know this is like I'd save quit the game come back and play with it again so I had the little save thing coming up every time uh, so yeah so here again using uh, as much as I can from the pack and just trying to create a nice, cozy, neutral-ish bedroom. Um, I think I was sticking with neutral just because. And it worked. I think just because I was struggling so much to, to think of what I wanted to do with this. It is interesting that... You know, it hasn't even been a year since I've done this build. And how I use certain items then that I don't use at all now when I do the base game plus pack builds. Or how I still use some of these same items. So here, I guess I did get some curtains put in maybe upstairs. I just didn't downstairs. And... They work. Like I said, they're not bad. I just, I don't know. I don't, I would like other options for other areas, I guess. But if you have multiple packs, then, you know, that's not a big deal. However, if, you know, you're just using base game. Really what it is, is we need more base game curtains. And I've said this numerous times. So I will try very hard not to go on another rant. So here I am playing around a little more with this bathroom. And I want to say this is probably the third or fourth time I did it. Luckily what I did, I just didn't save it. Because I 
Uh, so it went from the original layout to, you know, what I have now. So, but I like it. I think it adds a lot more interest to the back of this house. And that is something I'm struggling with quite a bit is the back of the homes. And I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I, I just focus so much on the front lately. And it's not something that's, you know, just happened like out of the blue. It's, it's been a ongoing process for a little bit now. Um, and it kind of started after this. So you can see I concentrated a little more on making it interesting in the back. But, yeah, lately not so much. Now, that being said, my newest build that you guys will see next week. Well, maybe not. Nope, that'll be the Friday build, I believe. Don't quote me on that, though. Okay. That one is a federal-style home and should be completely square all the way around, and I failed. Okay, that's all I'm saying with that one. I failed. So if you're watching this, you know, a week after this goes live, hopefully I'll remember to come back and link to that video for you. If I don't, it's up on my, you know, on my YouTube here. All right. Sorry, guys. I got distracted by my cat. She is being very attention starved right now and wanting me to, I don't know, pay attention to her. Uh, we literally just got done snuggling for like 15 minutes, okay? <laughs> he likes attention lately. And normally she's the one that doesn't, so. But anyway, so in here kind of got the nursery area and then a child's bedroom put in and the bathroom. And then this I just wanted to create a cozy little seating area where you could come read, do homework, you know, whatever, just a simple little area, do some artwork and, you know, go from there. So rugs again, I will not go on another rant about rugs, but if you've watched my past videos, you know my feelings, um, but they work, they work, it'll be okay. So this big, huge bathroom, oh, this big, huge bathroom. I still am struggling with it. And you see, I play around a little more with it. But it finally starts to come together. And I like how it turned out. I really do. You'll see, though, that I, I keep playing with it. And eventually, I believe I shrink it down a little bit more. But I might not. I can't remember for sure. And uh, I forgot to look when I loaded into this to check a couple things as I said I still have to go back and put curtains in before I upload it and take new pictures so luckily pictures I can add really easily to the video after I do the voiceover so I can go back and do that okay here just kind of adding some you know kid clutter I I wanted to decide for sure age-wise what I was going to put into this house and so that's why I left that space kind of empty. All right so here is our finished product and I'm going to show you what the inside looks like with curtains. Enjoy! <music> enjoyed this throwback build it's not too far back 
just over the summer. And I had I have so much fun looking back at these. So I really hope you guys are enjoying them as much as I am. All right. So as I said, I believe the next video is going to be just another house build. I am working on a pretty big one coming up. Actually, a couple of them. And so I'm going to be doing some smaller builds for a little bit until these bigger ones are ready to go. All right. I do hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.